Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. My name is Nur Harinisa binti Ahmad Razali and for your information, I love reading. I usually read everything as I'm not that picky but there's this one book that seems to be my favourite. And that one lucky book is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This book was published in 1997 by a wonderful British writer J.K. Rowling. It was published by Bloomsbury, a book company situated in London. This book consists of 332 pages, so if you were to read non-stop, I believe that it won't take you long until you finish reading it. So, this book shares the story of Harry Potter, an ordinary boy who lived with his aunt, uncle, and cousin named the Dursleys. They have always been so rude to Harry just because Harry's parents come from a different crop from them. To their surprise, one day, Harry got a letter from a school. From a school. The Dursleys insisted that Harry wouldn't go to that school. But the letters kept flowing, flowing, and flowing. To one point, they moved out just to run away from the letters. On Harry's 11th birthday, he was visited by a giant man named Hagrid, and he himself handed Harry that letter. That letter turns out to be an acceptance letter to a wizarding school. Harry was shocked on this discovery that found him. Throughout this story, we will be exposed to the wizarding world alongside with Harry, and together with his friends, Ron and Hermione, Harry must overcome one challenge that might determine the state of his school, or maybe even the wizarding world itself. There is a stone called Sorcerer's Stone that can make someone immortal. So, Harry and his friends must stop this stone from being in hand with an evil wizard named Voldemort who killed Harry's parents. This book teaches us the importance of ignoring things that are bad to you, just like how Harry ignored the Dursley's abuse. This book also teaches us the importance of making friends with the right crowd, which can be a good moral value to children. So, what I love the most about the book is the illustration cover that's so simple yet still managed to attract people's attention. The book is also kind of thick but yet so light. Some people might say that it's ancient as it was published in 1997 but it's a legend that everybody knows as a matter of fact. The storyline is also easy to understand so it is suitable for both young and adult readers. Overall, I highly recommend this book to action fantasy level such as myself because this book is packed with it. So, if you're looking for something light to read yet still manage to make your adrenaline go over the top, I believe that this book will please your needs. Now, let's us move on to my second part which is my answer regarding the question. I have chosen the question of the foreign workers. So, foreign workers come from all over the world, such as India, Pakistan, and even Indonesia. They are here to fill in labor shortages that is currently happening to our country. But with them at our doorstep, they have caused several problems. So I will address the problem in three different points. My first point, accommodation. Foreign workers come to work, but the government or the company that hires them did not provide them with proper accommodation, such as a home to live. Because of this, they have to live in the citizens' residential area. Citizens are human, and as a human, we have a nature. And as a human nature, we are either curious or scared of something that is different from us. In this case, I believe that the latter would win over the majority. People now live with uneasiness even in their own houses because of the foreign workers that live nearby them. My second point, marriage. Love is something that's part of human nature. So, even foreign workers get married to either another foreigner or our citizen themselves. Registering their marriage can be a hassle, so they often keep it a secret. But the real problem comes when they bear a child. The administration process of this child will be hard as one half of his or her parent is a citizen while the other is not. This child might also face some discrimination at school because of his or her family background. My final point, complaints. Foreign workers come to fill in labor shortages or in other words, they are here to get a job. So, this is where my point can relate to. Citizens complain about how the government offer jobs to foreigners instead of offering them to the citizens. Some citizens are still unemployed and still struggling to make ends meet. So, why the government are still looking for outside sources when they are citizens in just an arm's reach? All in all, foreign workers has caused several problems in our country. But every club has a silver lining. I believe 
that we should thoroughly study this topic before coming into any conclusion. With that, I rest my case.